candle of hope. That God somehow will intervene for us. Anna, do you want to help light the candle? Let Emma help you. You can light the one over here. She'll help direct it. This is our candle of faith. Our, I'm going to turn it over. There you go. Can you reach? Catch it. Good catch. Yep, it did. All right. And then we prepare our hearts, and then we'll have light the third candle, the candle of joy. We want everything to look nice. The decorations of the season, our homes with the lights, and tinsel, wreaths, and ribbons. We want to lighten the darkness around us, bring beauty to the ugliness that wears us down. We decorate because it is tradition, because it lifts our hearts, because it makes us feel like children again. We deck our halls because company is coming. The prophet Isaiah smiled when he said, God will give a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, a mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. No matter how far we feel from the spirit of the season, God promises to decorate us with love and with joy. We light these candles as a sign of our joy in the beautiful things of this season. Not just, that, not just the things that glitter and flash, but the deeper things. The beauty of the heart and the soul, the beauty of love shared in service and hospitality. We light this candle of joy because company is coming. 